there were some fights over the weekend in a fight night apex not if people were hating on this card obviously i make fun of apex but uh legit card especially the the main card main card was legit uh my boy shabazian it's just tough it's just freaking tough it's frustrating to be a fan of his he has all the tools and then it's just if it's someone who's a little underskilled, he beats the brakes off of him. And then if it's a vet, you know, that he's trying to get over the hump, he loses. And he had this fight in the bag and blew his wad. And then Gerald Merchart, who passed Anderson Silva for most wins at middleweight. Wild. Finishes. Finishes, mm -hmm. yeah. Crazy, right? Yeah. That'd be a Jeopardy question in 20 years. Maybe. But that's surprising, right? You wouldn't think that. Mm. He's a stud, man. Found a way to win. It, but Shabazi, it's just so frustrating. Neil Magny, uh, they do what they're doing with him is what they do with all the guys who you see it with Benil Darush, right? He's supposed to fight Patty Pimlet. Once these guys get to a certain level, the UFC puts them out to pasture and gives them the young line to just rip their faces off. And that's no different what happened here with Michael Morales, who's balls deep into Spider Man. That guy is a savage. Chicago's finest. Trained Bilal, I think, Muhammad. Was that the guy Bilal was telling us about? Remember when he was on the show? Yeah, I don't I forgot. No, because I think he was talking to us about a guy named Taco. No, I forgot, totally forgot. Yeah, hell yeah, Jen. <laughs> um, but yeah, Michael Morales is a absolute savage, undefeated. Poor Neil Magny. I mean, shit. Spin elbows happen. Shit happens. Spin elbows happen, but they're just building up the the youngster the little uh, Spider-Man Morales there. He's a fucking savage, though. Uh, Santos versus, say, Kane? Khan? Khan. That girl, first of all, came as, uh, is that the girl? Oh, no, that that's, dude, I'm thinking of Wang Kong. Oh, her, yeah. She was the first fight yeah. on the prelims. She came to the weigh-ins with Joker face paint, which is ballsy. And you're the first fight on the prelims? And um, she threatened her and then knocked her the fuck out in a minute. Dana wasn't there, clearly. He didn't go to the last 305 fight, but he saw it and was like, oh, you get a bonus. She's a little savage, dude. Savage. She beat um, Valentina Shevchenko, too, like in kickboxing. In kickboxing, yeah. yeah. She's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. She's going to be a problem. Ryan Loader looked good. Tabitha Ritchie did the damn thing. Good fight, too. Even though it was a decision, great fight with Angela Hill. And then, uh, help me out here, Chin. Kyle Bahadio. 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 Jerry Can there. I always like when these youngsters pass the test, and then you find out they're legit fighters. Because, you know, he's, he's had some good wins. But uh, Jerry, you beat Jerry Cannon there, you're... You're a badass. You beat Cannon there, and you are... You belong... In the top 10, bona fide top 10. Top five, we'll see. We'll see what they give him next. The middleweight is, uh, it's going to be tough for me. You know, he, he got on the mic, called out DDP. That's not happening. You shoot for the moon. Hopefully, he'll land on one of the stars. He'll land on the star. Um, I bet he gets a bigger name fight because let me see the middleweight rankings because Ken there was five. What was he? 12. So let me see. Yeah, so Bahario was 12. You got Hamza at 11. That's interesting. Paulo Costa is a fun one. Brendan Allen's a big name. Vittori, Jerry Cannonier. Imavov. Imavov is one ahead of him. I don't see him doing that. If you want to build this kid, you would give him a, a Brendan Allen. Somebody has some hype behind him. A Brendan Allen, a Paulo Costa would be exciting. Some Brazilian on Brazilian crime there. Um,. Michael Pierre would be a fun one, too. You wouldn't do, I mean, Hamzat's, you know, obviously he's fighting Whitaker. If Hamzat were to lose that, who knows? I Boy, that, that 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 Hamzat Whitaker fight, loser of that, is in a, there's a fork in the road, right? Winner of that fight, my God, we're going Sizzler. Loser, you're going to burn a man trading grilled cheese to get your feet rubbed. You know what I'm saying? And thinking about your life, reflecting, probably doing some ayahuasca with the bros, you know? Next thing you know, he's rubbing your feet. Next thing you know, you're really hungry, you know? It's going to get weird. It's going to get weird, dude. The loser of that fight's going to get weird. That's the whole point of this. It's going to get weird, dude. Yeah, but for um, 
Bahario. I think you mentioned Paulo. I think that they'd be perfect. Some Brazilian Brazilian crime. I like Brendan Allen. There's some heat there. Do they do you know, Brendan Allen Vittori? Because they fought in a casino. That's why I'm more excited for them to fight each other. But yeah, I guess. <sighs> yeah, there's, there's kind of a. It's like bottlenecked at the top. You got DDP, you got Strickland, you got Izzy, you got Whitaker. Obviously, Whitaker's fighting Hamzat. Izzy's going to take some time off, probably any super fights. Strickland's going to get DDP. We'll find out a lot. That that bottleneck's going to get a little wider once we find out with Hamzat and uh, Whitaker. Boy, Hamzat loses that one. It's going to get weird for him. Like like he's at Burning Man. It's going to get weird. He wins. It's off to the races. I'll tell you what I wouldn't mind. Bahario, uh, Bo Nickel. I know he's not ranked in the top 15. We know he's top 15. Hey. Hey. We know he's top 15. Do you want to burn two, you know, young stars, though? That's the problem, yeah. You take out an old line like Paulo Costa. You took out Jared Cannonier. Emma Bob's in a tough one. Yeah, we'll see. All right, what do you got, Jen? Dude, I'll tell you the barn burner this weekend. Oh, my God. I bet it did so well on pay-per-view. Mayweather Gotti, too. Dude, they pulled the ref halfway through. Yeah. And actually, it I thought that was just like a, a scene, but no, they actually replaced the ref. A new ref came in after the second round. Why? I mean, the whole thing's a shit show. Fans it, said it was like boring. It can be a good look too that Floyd Mayweather can't finish a kid who's two and zero. It's exhibition though. Like, what do you think? I just I think the money play for Gotti. Good for you, dude. Get yours with that with that experience. You're fighting Floyd Mayweather. It's a pay per view, dude. Get your son. Get yours for Floyd. I, I don't. know. This whole world is weird. The whole world is weird. He's making money off of it, so apparently he made around twenty to twenty five mil for just this fight. Oh yeah. Prove it. <laughs> That's the reports, though. Oh, yeah? Prove it, Floyd. Where's the money coming from? Unless there's a guarantee. Is it Saudi back, maybe? I don't know. So as for Gotti, the grandson of the infamous New York mob boss, John Gotti, his purse is expected to be significantly smaller. Could earn around $5 million. Here's the thing, though. $5 million, you have two fights, is wild. Unheard of. That's the world we live in. It's just the world we live in. How crazy are th how crazy is Floyd's career, right? The Connor fight that was wild, a little more professional than this, and then you're hyping up a fight against a guy that's known for his grandpa being a mob boss. We're all cool with it. Everyone cool with it. Okay, that's just the world we live in. Most famous girl in the world got famous for saying Hawk Tua. That's a reference for sucking cock. Like, that's the world. I mean, that's the road we're headed down. You know? You look at the media scrums in the UFC, it's just like, well, I'll fuck you up. You know? Like, all right. Like, all the real journalists are banned. We're in a weird time, man. Weird time, dude. 